Okay, a little bit different look today, and uh, sitting in the house, it's raining, pouring rain, and I'm pre-recording these videos for today because today is the day that I go clean out my classroom for summer break, um, today being the Monday that you see these videos. So a little bit different look today. I want to talk to you for just a second about uh, a series that we all know and love when it comes to children's books. Uh, I definitely grew up on these, read these a ton. I know I've said that before, but I'm my, myself, my two older sisters, we read these a ton. My kids love these books. I think that these are classics forever, and there's so many of them. Uh, and, and the one that I chose is one of my favorites, and especially one of my favorites that I've read to my kids. So I'm talking about the Berenstein Bears, and the specific Berenstein Bears book I'm talking about today is Get the Gimmies. Now, I will talk about more Berenstein Bears books, I'm sure. Um, I'll try to space them out so that's not all you get. But the Berenstein Bears are great, great stuff. Uh, this particular book deals with that inclination that children have to want something in stores and to want more than what they have and how we as parents can work to teach our kids to be thankful for what they have, uh, which is a challenge. Um, I know as an adult, I often want more than what I have. Um, so to teach our kids that is very, very difficult. So this is Stan and Jan Berenstein. I actually bought this at a used bookstore, but I, I owned it when I was a kid. But uh, some very, you know, classic scenes of the family being frustrated after a shopping trip and the way that they respond and just trying to be gracious. And one of the things I always love about the Berenstein Bears books is that whenever mom, pa, Berenstein get, get frustrated with their kids because of whatever it is their kids are not doing right, they almost always have a part where one of their parents come along and say, well, you were just like that as a kid, which as a parent is super frustrating, but is also accurate. And it's good for us to remember when we're dealing with those things with our kids that we were there too. And I think it's good for ki kids to know that we made those same mistakes when we were kids so they can see how we've grown and how we're trying to help them to be better. Um, I'm on a two and a half minute speech here, a soapbox about why this is such a great book. Chances are you've read this and you just needed a reminder, but if you haven't, the Berenstein Bears books, definitely books you want to pick up and get the gimmies. If you have children who are struggling to be thankful for what they have or wanting more than what they've got, uh, you definitely want to pick it up as well.